For over a century, the Panama Canal has been a vital artery for global trade, providing a crucial link between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. However, the landscape of maritime transportation may soon see a significant shift with the emergence of a new contender, the Interoceanic Corridor of the Isthmus of Tehuantepec in Mexico. In this video, we will find out how this new project will change the dynamics of global trade and regional development in the coming years. The Panama Canal, hailed as the greatest infrastructure project the world had ever seen, has long been a symbol of human ingenuity and engineering prowess. When the 48-mile-long canal officially opened in 1914 after a decade of construction, it realized a vision that had fascinated people for centuries. However, in recent times, the Panama Canal has encountered significant challenges, particularly due to water shortages. With 3% of global maritime trade passing through the canal, the Panama Canal Authority has been forced to reduce traffic to 25 ships per day from an average of 39 per day in 2022, with the possibility of further reduction to 20 ships per day. In light of these challenges, attention has turned to the Interoceanic Corridor of the Isthmus of Tehuantepec, also known as CIIT. But does this ambitious project in Mexico have the potential to emerge as a true alternative to the Panama Canal? The canal's director, Rico Vizquez Morales, acknowledged that the Mexican solution could pose a potential threat to the Panamanian operation, although he emphasized that a replacement route would only be necessary in the event of a complete water shortage, a situation that is not currently anticipated. But one of the major challenges facing the Panama Canal is its capacity constraints. The maximum annual cargo capacity of the Interoceanic Corridor of the Isthmus of Tehuantepec is estimated to be approximately 10.5% of the total amount of goods carried through the Panama Canal in 2022. This highlights the potential significance of CIT as a viable alternative route for maritime trade. Also, the strategic location of CIIT provides a direct link between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans offering a shorter route for maritime trade compared to traditional routes through the Panama Canal. This geographical advantage positions CIT as a competitive option for shipping companies, seeking faster transit times and reduced operational costs. Additionally, the interoceanic corridor of the Isthmus of Tehuantepec is designed to accommodate a diverse range of transportation modes, including railways, highways, and ports. This multimodal infrastructure approach enhances its appeal as a comprehensive and efficient trade corridor capable of supporting the evolving needs of global commerce. With a projected investment of over US $4.5 billion from both Mexican and foreign companies, as well as a commitment of $2.85 billion from the Mexican government, this ambitious project is poised to rival the Panama Canal as a crucial trade route. Spanning the narrowest part of Mexico between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, the Tehuantepec Isthmus Interoceanic Corridor is a flagship infrastructure initiative under the administration of President Andres Manuel López Obrador. It is anticipated that the corridor will facilitate the transit of 1.4 million cargo containers annually, making it a key player in the global logistics landscape. Let's check out the advantages of this new project. At a recent meeting of industry experts, it was emphasized that the CIIT will offer a more cost-effective and efficient alternative to the Panama Canal for transporting goods between the two oceans. Eduardo Romero Fon, the coordinator for the development and strategy of the Interoceanic Corridor, revealed that the project will encompass a 303-kilometer stretch connecting the ports of Salina Cruz in Oaxaca to Coatzacoalcos in Veracruz. This extensive infrastructure will include two seaports, railways, highways, three airports, a gas pipeline, and a fiber optic network, effectively integrating various modes of transportation and communication. Also, the economic impact of the Interoceanic Corridor is projected to be substantial, with estimates suggesting that it will contribute 1.6% to the national GDP by 2050, attract $50 billion in investment, and generate approximately 550,000 jobs within the industrial parks along its route. Additionally, the corridor is expected to serve as a magnet for investments, offering tax incentives, establishing a free trade zone, providing customs facilities, implementing tariff reductions, streamlining administrative procedures through a single window system, and fostering the development of residential areas and nature reserves. 
Hermilo Perez Cabrera, director of the Association of Local Authorities of Mexico, emphasized the transformative impact of the megaproject on the region. He highlighted that 79 municipalities will be at the forefront of this monumental development, which is poised to create a ripple effect of prosperity and employment opportunities. So one of the vital operations for this ambitious project, one of the most crucial aspects is the rehabilitation of the Tehuantepec Isthmus Railway. This railway, originally built under President Porfirio Diaz, is getting a major facelift to meet the current needs of the corridor. We're talking about rehabilitating 227 kilometers of railway, 82 bridges, and 290 drainage works for Line Z. Line FA will see 310 kilometers, 91 bridges, and 680 drainage works rehabilitated, while Line K will undergo a massive transformation with 459 kilometers, 526 bridges, and 318 drainage works on the agenda. The goal to boost train speeds from a measly 20 km slash to 70 km slash air for cargo trains and up to 80 km slash air for passenger trains. Also, as part of this grand plan, a gas pipeline will be laid across the isthmus, along with a liquefied natural gas plant in Salina Cruz. This move is set to solve the natural gas supply issue in southern Mexico and open up opportunities for gas exports to Asia. Rafael Marin Molinido, former director, is all for it, emphasizing the crucial role of natural gas in Mexican industrial development. And let's not forget about the 10 industrial parks slated for the project, they'll be getting a natural gas boost too. Construction began in October 2022, with an eye on an October 2024 inauguration, but of course, no grand project is without its fair share of complications. Layoffs and funding issues have caused some delays, but the government is ready to invest 60 billion pesos, which amounts to approximately 3.52 billion US dollars, to ensure that this vision becomes a reality. And as if that wasn't enough excitement for one project, they are working on the transformation of the ports of Coatzacoalcos and Salina Cruz. It's all part of the master plan to catapult these ports into the big leagues as the largest in the country. The Tehuantepec Isthmus Railway and its accompanying initiatives are nothing short of awe-inspiring and we eagerly await the transformation that lies ahead. Let's know what you think about this project in the comments section.